Nava family. We bring all our hopes, our dreams, our thanksgiving, our wishes now to the Lord in this Eucharist. and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, we come together and we bow our heads in gratitude to God. Before the Lord, let's count our blessings, not what is missing, in this life and whatever we're going through now. We are blessed and continue to be blessed as long as the Lord is with us. And in humility, we come before God begging for mercy, not only for ourselves, but for the whole world that needs so much restoration and redemption. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we acknowledge our sinfulness. Have mercy on me, O God. I am a sinner. And let us also, in gratitude to the Lord, forgive people who have hurt us and pray for people we have hurt in any way. So in humility, we pray. I confess to Almighty, to God, Almighty God and to you, to you my, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly great sinned sin in my thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done, done in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sisters and brothers, we give praise and glory to God. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray 
Let us now include our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions. And brothers and sisters, let's offer our collective prayer that this pandemic will end soon and that we will not be infected by the virus and that we learn the lessons we need for life from this difficult pandemic situation. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She has tends to make herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed, for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is the perfection of prudence. And whoever for her sake keeps vigil shall quickly be free from care. Because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways, and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul tears, like the earth parts lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting, my, lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. I will remember you upon my couch. And through the night watches, I will meditate on you. You are my help and the shadow of your wings. I shout for joy. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unwell, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God through Jesus. Bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, 
will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and be ready, for you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. And all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants, and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with a heart, not just with my lips. That I may preach with humility and with love. And that those who listen, listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Dear friends, uh, according to our statistics, our, it's like 47 days B.C. before Christmas and 239 days AQ after quarantine. Wow, well, somebody said don't focus on counting the days, focus on making the days count. Tama po yun. And why do I keep reminding us? Simply lang po. Because i like us to remember why do we count the days past? To remember the goodness of the Lord. To remind us to be grateful. Wow, 239 days. We're still here. Thank you, Lord. Why do I keep saying, oh, 47 days before Christmas. Why? To focus on hope. So that we don't get low bat so that we don't get uh, depressed and because we're waiting for something beautiful so gratitude and hope that's why we count the days and that is why we make the days count the gospel today about the ten virgins five foolish 
five were wise. The foolish ones didn't bring extra oil, while the wise ones had extra provisions. Siguro po, you can understand this. Well, with the cell phones, what is the biggest panic if you're already low bat and you cannot charge? That's the biggest panic of many people now. You know, low bat na or dead battery na. Now you can understand the parable of Jesus today in terms of being ready for you know not the time nor the hour. Dear friends, stay awake and be ready for you know not, you know not the time nor the hour. And uh, paalaala lang po sa ating lahat. You know, one thing good that has happened in this COVID-19 situation is we have become alert, virus alert. Eh? Well, be careful, you don't touch anything, you wash your hands. I hope we carry this with us. This is a good thing. But one thing too, ah, kapatid, I hope you get that God alert. That you become alert that God is speaking, that God has a plan, and that God will call you. He will call us someday, sooner or later. Question lang po. For example, when you go to any trip, two things yan. What you leave behind, the journey, and the destination. Okay? You see that on the planes. Where you're going, how many, how far, how many minutes, how many hours before the destination. Okay, what does it mean to be ready? I put a very blunt, simple question. If the Lord called you today, would you be ready? Handa ka na ba? I'm sure the first thoughts would come, oh, paano yung mga iwanan ko? Are there unfinished business? Uh, goodbyes to be said? You know? You're living behind. Uh, are there stories, reconciliation that hindi pa natapos? Are there blessings in my life that I have not shared? That's just what you're leaving behind. Are you ready? And the other thing is, where are you going? Will I be ready to meet my God? Wow. That's something we all have to think about. If the Lord called me today, what will I tell the Lord when I come before Him? Can I say, Lord, mission accomplished? Or, you know, it's all uh, a shock. I'm not prepared. Oh, I was supposed to share my blessings. Oh, I didn't mind that at all. Oh, I was supposed to help people. Oh, I was busy helping myself, you know. Don't get caught in that situation. What is the bottom line that the Lord is telling us? Two things. Number one, do not postpone your Conversion to God. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. We all will face God someday, sooner or later. Was there something we needed to fix? Was there a relationship that I needed really to establish and and nurture and strengthen my relationship with God. I hope when we face God, we will have little or no regrets that 
we loved him too little, too late. St. Augustine had a beautiful prayer. You know, when he realized that with all his wisdom and all the achievements, imagine this brilliant mind in the end saying, too late have I known thee, O beauty so ancient yet so new. I hope we'll not stand before God in the end saying, Sayang, too late have I loved you, O God. Please consider that. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Ask the Lord today, Lord, help me. Go beyond my selfishness, my pride, my... And to realize that I came from you, I'll go back to you, Lord. Keep that in mind. By the way, uh, when you come to the customs in heaven, uh, you come at the gates of eternity, you'll be in trouble if you have dirty money and unshared money. Dirty money, it means you, people got hurt, cheated to get this. And the other thing is unshared money. Oh God, you had so much money, you did not share. Whatever you did to the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. Sana po wala tayong regrets when it comes to that point, okay? And number two, may we have little or no regrets that we loved too little, too late, the people God has given to us. Yan pong madalas eh. I could have been more loving, perhaps. I could have listened more. I could have appreciated more. Ayan eh, mga could have been. Sana, sana, sana all. YOLO. You only live once. So do your best now. And you don't have to go far, please. Start with your family and your family members. Don't presume that everything's okay. Oh, okay naman sila lahat, you know. Ask them, are we okay? Is there anything we need to talk about? Is there anything I need to change? Please do that. Oh, you families who are listening right now, after this Mass, why don't you have a little chat? Talk. Open up. Oh, is there anything, anak? Oh, ano bang dapat baguhin natin? Listen, please. Listen. And please do not, do not postpone your loving, your appreciation. Um, there's that little poem about the rose. May I repeat this? One little rose. And the poem says, I'd rather have one little rose from the garden of a friend than to have the choicest flowers when my life has come to an end. I'd rather hear a pleasant word in kindness said to me than flattery when my heart is still and my life has ceased to be. I'd rather see a, a loving smile from friends whom I know are true than tears shed around my casket when this world I bid a Jew. So, bring me all your flowers today, whether pink or white or red. I'd rather have one blossom now than a truckload when I'm dead. One little rose. Sisters and brothers, love pa more. <laughs> Remember what you always say, the extra mile. Sige pa. Diyos ko, hanggang dito na lang, Lord. The Lord says, 
one more mile, one more step, and the extra smile. <laughs> ah, hirap na talaga, kaya kuminsan. But still, you say, okay lang. Okay lang. I, I go back to what I learned from Papa and Mama. They kept telling us noon, uh, itupol mo labat, anako. Tiisin lang, kunting tiis lang. Aganus ka lang, anak. Be patient. So, keep going and keep smiling. Para hindi tayo malobat. Para the oil does not become, you know, you don't run out of oil. You fill it up with the Lord. That's the only way to recharge. And that's where prayer comes in. Kung wala kang prayer life, lobat ka na talaga. Dead battery, empty tank, wala na. So you become burnt out, you become angry, you become impatient, you become sad, even depressed. The secret is recharge. Recharge with the Lord. And be filled up. Be filled up with the Lord. Huh? So mga kapatid, as we journey on, two things keep in mind. Two things. Travel light. Heavy ka. Heavy with possessions. Heavy with connections. <laughs> Heavy ka. Ang bigat mo. Hindi ka makamove on towards God's heart. Heavy ka rin siguro sa puso. Dami kang yabang, galit. Dami kang mga sama ng Lord. Ang bigat. Could you not just say to the Lord today, Lord, please, tanggalin na ho niyo mga walang kakwenta-kwentang bagahe ko. In fact, the Lord wants to do that. But you know what? You choose kasi to carry them all. Even if the Lord wants you to leave behind those problems, those hurts, He cannot do anything. He's talking to you. He's telling you everything. But you refuse. You refuse. I remember one pilgrimage we had. There was this um, elderly guy. I, I noticed it from the first day. He had this bag, trolley bag, which he keeps holding. Pulling, ang bigat po eh. I tried once to help him. He didn't even want to be helped. But everywhere we went, he would go to the restaurant. He was always carrying that bag. Pulling it, ang bigat bigat. I tried. Others tried to say, kami na pong bahala, iwanan na lang yan. And he would not. Okay? Fine. He had a choice. But you know what? He slowed down the group. Ibig sabihin, naapektuhan din niya eh. Dahil sa bagahe niyang mga dala-dala. So, maybe be good to yourself. Be good to other people, please. Let go of that bagahe mo. At mga pinagyayabang mo or pinakaingat-ingat mo niya na in the end, you cannot carry with you before God. Remember, your appointment with God. All you can carry before God is the love in your heart. That's all that will matter in the end. So travel light, please. And number two, keep going to the light. Follow the light. Yung ilaw. Travel light and follow the light. Get out of the darkness. Don't stay in the darkness. Keep seeking, looking for that light. Finding God in everything that happens. You have problems, see the light in this problem. Don't get stuck on the darkness. You have issues, you have to find God in there. There must be a light always. There is always the light. Believe and keep following the light. Please choose not to be in the darkness. And please choose not to spread darkness, but to spread light, hope, joy. So dear friends, we shall pass through this word but once. 
my favorite quotation through the years, since I was a, a teenager, it was a poem by Stephen Grellet. I shall pass through this world but once. Therefore, whatever kindness or, or goodness or love I can do, let me do it now. Let me not neglect, postpone, defer it. For I shall not pass this way again. We are on a journey. So do not postpone whatever goodness or love I can do. At mga kapatid, keep the light burning. And I'd like to share also with you, you know, two things. Let's pray for the grace to live meaningful lives. Sana ang buhay natin di yung ang babaw, panailang pasarap, comfort, pasikat. It's all about what the world says. That's a very shallow life. What does God say? What is God's mission? Yan ang malaman, may laman. Kumbaga sa chicharon, sana ang buhay mo ay may laman. Hindi lang chicharon. Something like that. And let's also pray for the grace to die. A happy death. That will be a grace. We don't know when, where, how. But let the grace of God. So let's ask that. I'd like to share with you from my book, a prayer I wrote for a happy death. Lord, I don't know where, when, how I will go. But when the time comes, please, Lord, let me be ready to meet you. And when I come to see you face to face, may I be in the state of grace. Please give me the chance for reconciliation and the grace to finish my purpose and my mission. And help me to leave behind a worthwhile life and go straight to you, welcoming me with your loving smile into your loving heart. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, may we have little or no regrets that we loved too little too late. May our blessed mother Remind us again to live a life for God. Go the extra mile. Give the extra smile. Yes, Mama Mary, bless us to be ready when the Lord finally calls us home. Amen, Lord. Amen. We profess our faith and pray. I believe in one God. Heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, before, before, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us now turn to the Lord bring our prayers and our intentions, the prayer of the faithful. 
And let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may truly become wise in their words and actions, so that their decisions may promote human flourishing, especially among the poor and the marginalized, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that our political and civil leaders may value the kingdom of God as the greatest treasure and think of heaven as the true home. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that consecrated persons who have abandoned everything for the sake of the kingdom may by their joyful living of the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience show their brothers and sisters the primacy of God's kingdom over everything else. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer that those who despair in life, those who are burdened by weakness and sin, and those who are discouraged and pessimistic about the future may regain trust in God who will wipe away every tear from their eyes, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that those who grieve for their departed ones may be strengthened by their hope in the life hereafter and that those who have gone ahead of us may share the joy of the heavenly banquet, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, listen to our prayers, said or unsaid, which we offer all in confidence in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His holy church. Mm. <clears throat> Look with favor, we pray, Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son. We may honor, we honor it with loving devotion to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Father, Almighty, eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, that you might love in us what you have loved, you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours 
that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. <laughs> gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are right now, and whatever you're going through, the Lord Jesus is with you. Blessing, loving, healing, so present to each one of us, wherever we are. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our dear Cardinal Tagle, Onesto, our Bishop, all the bishops, the clergy, the missionaries, and the religious all over the world. Remember to Lord, our departed relatives and friends who have fallen asleep, in the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, especially victims of COVID-19, especially frontliners who risked and gave their lives so that others may live. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, through it all, don't forget we have a loving Father. Marin tayong ama na nagmamahal sa atin. He is always with us and He loves us. So we surrender everything, everyone now, to God, our Father. Deliver us, O Lord, from all evil, and grant us peace, and keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O God, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Remember what we said in our journey, travel light and travel to the light. If you travel light, you have a peaceful life. If you keep following the light, you'll have a joyful life. So I wish you all peace and joy. Peace be with you and joy be with you all. Kam sa hamida saranghe. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please bow your heads in prayer. The Lord is here, and the Lord is with you wherever you are. It's a beautiful moment. Wherever we are right now, whatever you're going through, just ask the Lord to bless you and embrace you, renew you. Thank you so much, dear Lord, for giving hope, giving joy, amidst the many things happening around us, amidst the many turmoils to happening inside us. Stay with us, Lord. Be with us. Assure us. Thank you, Lord. We need you and we love you. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sisters and brothers, may I invite you to bow your heads. It's a beautiful moment. And we ask the Lord, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to heal and bless us all in a very special way, this very moment. Come, Holy Spirit. We need you. Come, Holy Spirit. Heal us. This moment, Lord, we are brothers and sisters who are sick, who are in pain. Please, Lord, we beg your mercy and healing, for you are the greatest healer. We offer to you, O Lord, all our pains and all our sufferings. Come, Holy Spirit. Our sisters and brothers who are in emotional pain. People who are afflicted with sadness, depressions, hurts. Lord, you alone can heal the heart. You made the human heart. Only you can fully restore brothers and sisters who are still in spiritual darkness, imprisoned by sin, bad habits, vices, bad relationships. Set us free. Help us to follow the light and not to stay in the darkness. Come, Holy Spirit. And please, Lord, heal our families, our relationships. Heal our land. Heal the world with peace. Reconciliation. Forgiveness. Give us humility. Humility. And humility. Lord, you alone know everything and everyone. Jesus, I trust in you. And Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. And Mama Mary, I love you. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Do not postpone your conversion. Do not postpone your loving. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Mama Mary. We offer all these prayers. In Jesus' name, amen, Lord. Amen. But dear friends, we'll have a little harana after the Mass. And please remember, God is in complete control of everything and of everyone. Be still. Know that I am God. Psalm 46.10 Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure 
in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and smile. All is well. All will be well. We have a Father, a loving Father. And may Almighty God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord with joy and with humility. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.